welcome back to Contra Critiques in Cars with Emily. So this um, was a show I actually was going to no matter what because of the, one of the openers. Um, and then the headliners I knew from a long time ago, but they had just come out with a new album and I love their new album. So it was just kind of like an added bonus that I actually was excited to see the headliner as well. Um, so the bands tonight were Copeland was the headliner, From Indian Lakes was the band I really personally wanted to go see, and then Many Rooms was um, the opener. So getting there was actually pretty easy. Um, I was pleasantly surprised as it was a Friday night, and I thought maybe there would be a little bit more traffic going into D.C., but um, it was not. It was at Union Stage, and I actually splurged on a um, VIP ticket before I had actually known what VIP ticket meant and was. Um, I mean, part of me was excited that I got to sit down, but the other part was not excited that I was so far back and like pushed to the side. Um, anyway, so I purposely went early to kind of sit and eat dinner. Um, and getting there, I was there like 10 minutes earlier than I thought I was going to be. And then parking was just a hot mess nightmare. And normally I do spot hero, but all the spot heroes in that area close at 11 or 1130. And I was not willing to risk it because I knew that this was a three band show. And I was a little bit nervous that the last three band show I went to, which was two nights ago, was over at like 1125. And I was like, there's no way. One, the one parking garage would have been closed. And two, it, by the time I walked there and got out, it just wasn't worth the risk. Um, so then I ended up, all of the parking garages were full, of course, Friday night, I should have known. Um, so that was my own silly fault. Anyway, let's get into the show. So um, after I finally got there, <laughs> uh, the opener, Many Rooms, was okay a uh, female lead singer so that was not the best but um she came out with just her and a guitar and she was actually really liked the lyrics of the first song a lot um and then like halfway through the second song she uh the whole a whole band came out and after that point she kind of explained um that these people were members of other bands who were her friends who were helping her out with this tour and then the third song was okay, but the fourth song um, called Hollow Body was just so, so good. I mean, just like, uh, like heart-wrenching, wonderful, bone-chilling, mind-blowing good. I loved it. Um, she even threw in uh, like a little bit of a Radiohead song that I love as part of the bridge and it was just like you hear the first lyric you're like that's totally gonna be Radiohead and then you hear the second one you're like yeah that's totally Radiohead and it was just such a good touch and it was awesome I really loved the fourth song and then the song after that was so such a good follow-up song like it just was pretty awesome as well not as good as the fourth one the fourth one like blew me away the fifth one was really good though um and then unfortunately the sixth song her last song she played was just that great especially compared to uh, the, her fourth and fifth song so I was all really like you had such a strong build up to the last song and then it just totally was not what I was hoping for um, I mean she talked a lot in between sets and she kind of addressed the fact that she was going to be talking a lot she um, you know it was fine and again I think I would have liked to, uh, especially the third and maybe even the second song better if it was a male singer instead of a female singer I just don't know why Um, 
the third song was a new song, which I had this like unique, strangish sound to it. Um, but it was really synthesizer heavy, so I was not necessarily a huge fan, although I am definitely interested to see what it sounds like um, as a, you know, produced song. Um, I mean, I, I also have been super pumped for new from Indian Lakes in general, but that song in particular, I definitely am going to um, see if I can tell which one it is on their new album, just because, again, I didn't love it tonight, um, so I'll be interested to see what happens. Um, then after that, they played Blank Tapes, oh my god, they played Am I Alive, which was just so good, like so good, and so after they played Am I Alive, they kind of had this like moment where he kind of played the first two notes of the next song, and then he like kind of went on a talk about like how this was the last show of the tour, and how thankful they were, and you know, saying goodbye and stuff like that, and so... I was like, wait, are they going to play my song? Because if they play my song right now, I'm just going to be so excited. But it's like that little tease, right? So they played that first note, and I was like, oh my gosh, they better play my song. Um, so then, of course, they played Awful Things, and I just love that song so much. It was so good. It was just, like, so, so good. And it was actually good, and not just me, like, gushing because I love the song. But, um when they went, got to the bridge part of it, uh, the way he sang it was just like, I mean, it was so quiet and like he was like struggling to get the words out because it was like such an emotional moment. So I like loved that. It was just so good. Oh God, it was uh, so good. Thank you for playing that song from Indie Links. Don't ever stop playing that song. It was so, so good when you guys play it live. Um, so yeah, loved that song. That was really great. Uh, then they played uh, Old One they played a new one, which I'm actually really excited about. That new one I seemed to like, okay, this is going to be something I'm really going to be looking forward to hearing again. Um, different from the previous new, newer one they played. And then they ended with an older song. So yeah, it was like great. And I knew like all the older songs I recognized. Um, so I really was enjoying the whole set and they didn't play a single older song that I was like unfamiliar with. So I really liked that. Um, Again, great set. I like the subtle changes in not only the playing of the instruments, but also in the way that he sings the song the lyrics. So really great. Such a good set. And again, I definitely am biased on this one because I'm so excited to see them. The last time I saw them, they were fantastic. And I thought they were really fantastic again tonight. So I was really excited about that. Um, all right, so Copeland. Um, Copeland's been around forever. And a lot of people I know were looking forward to hearing like their old stuff. And I unfortunately was like a hardcore new stuff sort of a girl. Um, I really love their new album. They like create this world and it's just like every song has that sound to it without sounding the same. It's such a great album. Definitely listen to it if you can. Um, so good. It's called Blushing is the album title. But anyway, the problem, not really a problem, um, was that they have to have like this balance, right? At one point, the lead singer was saying how he had like 80 songs, how the band had 80 songs. So yeah, you have to play like new stuff for those people who are into the new thing, but then you also have to play like your older stuff because that's what people came to see. Um, so over, so they opened with a new song off the album, which was great. I really liked it. Um, it was a song that I liked and was like looking forward to hearing. Um, and then their second and third song I actually really liked. I didn't recognize either of them, but they were really fantastic. The fourth song for sure was the lull in their set for me. It was just like not something I enjoyed. But then the fifth song was much better and I really liked it a lot. Um, and then after that they played, the new song they played Lay, Lay Here, Lay There. I forget which there or here. Um, which demonstrative it is, sorry. It was like so, I was excited because it was a new song and I knew it, but then like, I don't know, a couple minutes in I was like, oh, right, they're still playing the song. Um, so that was actually also a little bit disappointing. Not as disappointing as the fourth song. The fourth song I didn't like at all. Um, but that, just like the fact that I wasn't as like excited about that song, because I like that song you know, when I listened to it on the CD. I just, live for some reason, it didn't grab my attention as much as I was hoping it would. Um, so in terms of like the rest of the set, in 
terms of the older songs, it was like a roller coaster of just like sometimes I really liked the song that I wasn't aware of and didn't know. And then there are times I was like, ooh, I really like the music, but the chorus isn't great. Or ooh, I really like the verse, but the music isn't pulling me. Or ooh, I, I don't love the lyrics, but the music is great. So I felt like every song was kind of its own little mini roller coaster in and of itself. Like I had a lot of like, ooh, I really like this part, or uh, okay, or ooh, I really love this part. Um, and again, there were definitely songs where the crowd was like way into it because they knew it and they were excited about it. At one point he was like, all right, we're going back to 2003 and everyone was singing along. Um, so if anything, I wish I had maybe gone back and listened to their old stuff. But um, so after... <laughs> After they played a couple other older songs after Lay Here, Lay There, Lay, lay, lay There, I don't know, um, they played Night Figures, which is such a good song, and it was so good, and it was just such a great high for me in the set, and then the next song I didn't like, so that was definitely another, like, huge dip for me. Um, I still think the fourth song was worse, but, um, yeah, I just like it was like this high of like, oh my gosh, this song is so good, and seeing it live was excellent. And again, they like just, uh, just like the light show was great, and the sound of it was so good. And, and again, it kind of took me into that world of theirs that they created for this album, and it was just so like such a powerful song for me personally. And then we get into the song that I didn't really love, so that was a little bit um, of another lull for me as well. But then after they played a couple more songs that were um, good, I liked them a lot. They played the song that I basically went to go see for them in particular was Pope. And I love that song and I don't know if he did it on purpose, but there was um, a point where he kind of like changed the way that he sang a certain couple words. Um, and again, it could have just been that it was an accident and he like kind of faltered for a second. But if it was, it was a fantastic mistake because it was just so good. Like I just loved that song and seeing it and hearing it and just again, it, being trans transported into that world that they created is just it was just such a cool feeling um and they played one more song which i think is still a new song as well um just just based on the sound it had that that feel to it um and then they kind of addressed the whole okay well like we're done but we're not actually going to go off the stage for an encore because let's face it it's like whatever we're coming back um so they didn't actually leave the stage so they came play three more songs great choices the first song I was like kind of iffy about at the beginning but then once the chorus came in it was like full sound really great um the song is called coffee um I didn't recognize it but it was really good the second to last song again it it kind of um had that fuller like rock out sound and then the last song I mean just from start to finish was just hardcore awesome like combination of instruments and singing um, definitely had that like more full sound, which is not necessarily true for all Copeland songs. So yeah, it was really great. I really liked that last song in particular, not because I knew it or anything, but just because I thought it was a really strong way to end the set. So yeah, um, that was a really, um, nice encore. I thought they did a really nice job and they kind of even said like, okay, we're going to do three, three older songs now or older songs for the encore and then it was three songs long. Um, all right, score. Oh boy. Okay. Um, I liked. I mean, you know, to be blown away by the opener, especially female singer. That's that's a big deal. <laughs> um, I loved from Indian Lakes, even if I couldn't necessarily understand all of the words. And again, they're like a band that I love and know them so well. But I just lyrics are hard for me. I takes me a long time to memorize them and I just don't know all of them but they were so good and I'm trying not to be biased but they were just so good god when they played awful things oh it's just so good it's, it's such a good song um and then Copeland was just like a hardcore roller coaster for me some songs I really liked some parts I didn't really like some songs I like loved and were just like totally taken away and just oh, it was so wonderful and then other songs I could have just um, hmm, so I don't really know. This is a tough one. I think, oh gosh, this is a really tough one. I don't know. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to give this one a... 
an eight. I think I'm gonna give it an eight. I was really blown away by that one song and the fact that it was Radiohead and it was my favorite Radiohead song was fantastic. Um, from Indian Lakes, I was so looking forward to seeing them and they totally did not disappoint. And they played the song that I love seeing them play right after my like second favorite song and, and so I really can't complain about their set. Um, I just personally need to learn their lyrics more and then Copeland, those few songs that were great were so great. And then the rest of it was pretty good. I mean, it just, you know, maybe what, two and a half songs that I didn't really love. So yeah, I think an 8.0 is a pretty fair score for this one. But um, yeah, please comment, like, subscribe, especially if you were there. I'd love to hear what you think. Um, yeah, so let me know and I will see you guys next time. Bye.